Back in Terra Promessa on this project that I tried for the last time in November. Now it's March and it hasn't been dry since November. Now it's finally dry. I went up a few times to kind of remember the moves again, try the moves. It was kind of interesting because I kind of remember it being like kind of easy into a hard free move crux. Today the crux felt much easier but kind of the easier sections felt harder. So now the route felt homogeneous and amazing and pretty pumpy. The first part is kind of like a really short 8C into really good knee bar and then it's kind of really power resistant maybe 20 25 moves without any rest you have to keep going with hard free moves at the end of the section and then it's still like amazing 8a plus 40 meters of incredible climbing incredible rock and i think it's gonna be 9b but i think on the upper end of the grading scale I actually tried it today from the good knee bar and I made it to the crux move. There I just pumped out but I was just too tired. I was climbing in the morning so actually starting from the ground if you climb through the lower part well without getting too tired you can recover almost 100%. So I believe okay, that starting from the ground or from the knee bar is not gonna change too much. But let's see, maybe I'm wrong. Right after the crux it kind of gets easier but there used to be a good hold that broke uh, in November and that section is not easy. I mean for sure before it was almost impossible to fall. Right now you still have to have some juice in the tank. It's gonna be interesting, I'm quite curious about that section. This was actually the first real try coming from the ground. The knee bar was surprisingly good. I could really recover, I would say almost 100%. Then it felt pretty, pretty solid all the way up to the crux. Then just before the crux, I got total flash pump. I took this pinch, but I took this pinch not so much as a pinch, but a little bit higher. And then the next pinch is just above and the index fingers was kind of in a way to get this hold perfectly and I was as I was there for a few seconds I was too pumped and I just let go because there was no way what I could like you know to make more space out of the left, left hand as I was like holding my left hand so tightly was not really possible but it was a good try promising try let's see what happens next try
So yesterday was the first day of serious tries in the project of Terra Promesa. I kind of thought I could do it, but then I got to the cracks being just way too pumped. Second try, I was already tired, so today the plan is to come back and try the project again. Today is not today. I had a really hard time just doing the moves. It makes absolutely no sense to to give it a try. Just somehow tired, I don't know. Just a really weird day. Terra Promessa si è una falesia sopra Massone di Arco. È stata chiudata circa più di vent'anni fa da Re Nicera e François Legrand. E già allora avevo visto a sinistra la possibilità di chiudare la via che poi Adam ha fatto, Wonderland. Però poi per un motivo, un po' perché era troppo duro, non ci sono più tornato. Praticamente poi sono tornato verso il 2017, andavo su a giugno così, e poi ho rivisto la linea. All'inizio ho iniziato a chiuderla calandomi da sopra, mi ha dato una mano il mio amico Patrick Billatti e ho chiodato la, la, la prima parte, diciamo, quella più dura. Perché dopo lo, dove l'ho chiodata io praticamente c'era un pezzo che, che era liscio e senza una presa incollata, dico, non si passa. Ho visto a sinistra anche le altre tuffas, e, però pensavo fosse inscalabile. Invece Adam è, è riuscito a passare lì. E anche questo è il bello dell'arrampicata, che c'è un'evoluzione. Quello che dieci anni fa sembrava impossibile, magari Dopo dieci anni arriva uno forte e, e, e riesce a passare comunque. La differenza dal mio punto di vista tra la vecchia generazione e la nuova è enorme. Perché gli arrampicatori tipo Adam o al top del livello hanno un'etica pazzesca che in passato, e mi ci metto dentro anch'io, abbiamo fatto degli errori pensando, pensando che delle vie fossero scalabili con le prese naturali e purtroppo, dico purtroppo, sono stati fatti degli errori, e anche io, che abbiamo magari ritoccato delle, delle prese che comunque... E invece secondo me bisogna essere, avere l'umiltà di dire attualmente non si passa, in futuro verrà qualcuno più forte di noi e riuscirà comunque a passare. Well, today was incredible. It should have been the try. I was just floating up to the last undercling before the cracks. I was super solid, super fresh. Then I made two tiny errors that first I got this pinch. Then this crimp, I kind of didn't get it perfectly right away. I lost maybe one second. I thought maybe I was losing the power, but then I got the next pinch. I was getting perfectly the next pinch perfectly. And here there is this really important intermediate that are like two independent holes for the fingers and the thumb. And this one I was like, took me another one second to like get it. This took a little bit of the power away, but I still had a really good chance to make the span. And then I almost got it, kind of missed it and fell. I'm pretty sure if I didn't do these two mistakes, I was pretty sure I would like control the move well enough that it would be impossible to hit it. And then I'm pretty confident I will go to the top. Actually, I'm thinking whether I should give it another try today. Because like the feelings that I had today and considering that the conditions will be amazing tomorrow, it, um, I think there is a really good chance that I would send tomorrow on my first try. But still, I think there is a really good chance that I can even send today on my second try. But if I don't send it on my second try, today, then tomorrow, I might be too tired. But I think that there's a really good chance that I could send next try, so I'm going to try today. Mm-hmm. 
Well, even though this was the second try, it was really good. I took a good rest in the knee bar. I felt pretty fresh. And in the section above, I just tried to climb as efficiently, as quickly as possible. And maybe I was just pushing it too much. And then I was maybe a little too quick going into the side pool and then maybe something slipped. I don't even know. Uh, just a silly mistake. But on the other hand, I don't think I got myself tired for tomorrow. Um, so tomorrow I think the conditions will be equally good. I hope I will be well rested. So let's see tomorrow.
Harder than I thought. <laughs> I thought I was just a big because lead. the hard part is the span, and then I had to improvise. I made a beta I never did before. <laughs> I saw the with the original beta I would fall. <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw there was a, some. <laughs> So I made the span yes. and I thought it's kind of over because I never really fall. I only today fell in this move. Never ever before. But I got the undercling and I was stuck e here. In the crux. Yes, and you didn't catch it in the proper way maybe. Yeah, but you should more like kind of don't you, you shouldn't even stop, you should do like tuck tuck. Okay. And I stopped and I was sure I can't go. So I somehow like yes. took the position that I could do like this. Maybe it's actually better. Ah, <laughs> uh, finalmente. <laughs> <laughs> finalmente. <laughs> visto? Anche qua. Anche qua. Finalmente. Brutale. Brutale sto qua. Well, I'm not the club it's starting yesterday. The route is amazing, but I have really no idea what about the grade. Giving it a 9B maybe feels a little bit stupid because it definitely feels quite a bit harder than most of the 9Bs that I've done in the last months. But Probably not a 9B plus. I have to think about it. And I have to think about the name. You 9B player. <laughs> ah yes, I am a 9B player. <laughs> I'm not proud of it. <laughs> if you want something sent, please. <laughs> <Cold> ghetto. <laughs>